Greetings, my cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. We are overjoyed to have the opportunity to connect with you through our channel. Our utmost desire is to provide you with meaningful content that will profoundly impact your spiritual journey. We beseech God to graciously heed our supplications through the intercession of Jesus Christ, bestowing upon us divine guidance and an outpouring of His boundless love. May His omnipotent hand serve as a shield, safeguarding us from any harm that may cross our paths, and may our lives be saturated with abounding joy and resounding triumph. Before we embark on our core message, we humbly implore your support by expressing your appreciation for this video through likes and subscribing to our channel, ensuring that you remain attuned to the latest celestial revelations. Now, let us commence by offering our heartfelt prayers as an earnest demonstration of our unwavering love and unwavering devotion to the Almighty. O beloved Lord, I humbly present myself before your divine presence, with a heart filled with profound humility, seeking your boundless grace and unwavering guidance. Infuse every fiber of my being with your unfathomable love and unyielding wisdom, empowering me to tread steadfastly in your righteous path and fulfill the glorious purpose you have lovingly ordained for my existence. Grant me unwavering strength during moments of tribulation and grant me unwavering tranquility amidst the enigmatic uncertainties that envelop me. May your supreme will resonate harmoniously in every facet of my being, weaving its tapestry of divine providence. In your holy name, I offer this fervent prayer. Amen. Vigano, while reflecting on a lesser-known 20th-century apparition, emphasizes the importance of steadfast prayer for Catholics. He recounts an alleged miracle and the subsequent messages that unfolded in a small Italian town in the 1990s. According to the account provided by the owner of a small Mary statue, a miracle took place, followed by heavenly messages. The event took a serious tone. On the afternoon of February 2, 1995, five-year-old Jessica Gregori was on her way to Mass with her family when she noticed a peculiar aspect of a small Blessed Virgin Mary statue. The statue was placed in a newly constructed stone grotto in front of their house. Papa, Papa, the Madonna is crying, she exclaimed. Alarmed by his daughter's mention of blood, her father, Fabio, hurried over to ensure her well-being. What he witnessed left him astonished and perplexed, the statue of Mary was shedding tears of blood. According to Archbishop Pagano, this phenomenon recurred a total of 13 times, witnessed by crowds, until February 6. Fabio promptly summoned public security agents to safeguard the sacred image, and they testified under oath regarding these events during the subsequent investigation. The incident led to an extensive and protracted investigation, the conclusive findings of which remain uncertain. Some are convinced that it is a hoax, while others, including Vigano, find inspiration in what they believe to be a miracle. The Archbishop shares that Pope John Paul II desired to venerate and crown the statue secretly at his Vatican apartment, so as not to disrupt the ongoing investigation by the Diocesan Commission. Later, the Pope confirmed in writing that the event did occur. In June 1995, the statue was solemnly displayed for public veneration in the main church of Civitavecchia, where it remains to this day. Reportedly, the messages received were not solely from the Blessed Mother. Vigano explains, from that moment on, this voice spoke many times, but with different identities, sometimes the Father, sometimes the Son. Starting on July 2, 1995, a series of apparitions took place, involving Jesus, Mary, and the angels, along with numerous messages that continued until May 17, 1996. The Blessed Virgin also made a recent appearance, delivering a message on December 23, 2018, according to Vigano's account. Responding to the messages received through the alleged apparition, 
Pagano highlights their resemblance to previous approved apparitions such as Fatima and Akita. The messages conveyed a warning of a significant apostasy. In May 1995, the voice supposedly informed Fabio that the tears of blood were a representation of Jesus' blood shed for those who turn away from the Immaculate Heart, offering salvation. Italy, in particular, received a message of grave danger from the Blessed Mother. She expressed concern about increasing darkness and spiritual decline in Rome, the place where Jesus established his church. The sacramental order, established by God for the salvation of all, was emphasized in the messages. Vigano explains that the messages strongly urge people to return to the sacramental life, emphasizing the importance of receiving Eucharistic communion, regular confession, and engaging in Eucharistic adoration whenever possible. The messages also stressed the power of the Rosary as a potent weapon against Satan, and encouraged the sanctification of daily life, by transforming ordinary family actions into acts of love. The alleged words of Mary conveyed a sense that the world is increasingly engulfed in darkness and evil, even within the Church itself. A warning of an impending World War III was given, accompanied by an urgent plea to use spiritual weapons such as love, prayers, humility, the rosary, and true conversion of hearts. Despite the warnings, the messages offered consolation and peace. Trust in God and His Church was encouraged, with a reminder to fear God rather than man. The voice purportedly expressed that hope is never lost with God and that one should approach life with the simplicity of a child placing their hand in the hand of their father. The Blessed Mother assured that she would transform sufferings into joys when they are accepted with genuine love, as these trials are allowed by Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let us unite in prayer this July and devoutly recite the Holy Rosary together. In line with the message of Fatima, Vigano believes that these heavenly messages should be heeded diligently and trusted by the faithful. O Lady of Fatima, hear our prayer. We come before you with hearts full of love and devotion, seeking your intercession and guidance. You appeared to the three children, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, bringing messages of warning and hope for the world. We humbly ask for your powerful intercession before the throne of God. O Mother Mary, we ask for your protection and blessings upon us and our families. Help us to deepen our faith, to live according to the Gospel, and to embrace the sacramental life of the Church. Guide us in consoling Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and offering our prayers and sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady of Fatima, teach us the importance of repentance and the need to turn away from sin. May we always seek God's mercy and forgiveness, and may our hearts be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Blessed Mother, we entrust to you our troubled world. Pray for peace, unity, and the end of violence and injustice. Help us to be instruments of love, compassion, and reconciliation in our daily lives. O Queen of the Holy Rosary, we ask for your intercession as we pray this powerful prayer. Through the mysteries of the Rosary, may we meditate upon the life of Jesus and draw closer to Him. Grant us the grace to persevere in prayer and to imitate your virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Our Lady of Fatima, hear our prayers and lead us closer to your Son. We place our trust in your motherly care and ask for your guidance and protection. Amen. <music>